Hi there. Uh, in this video, we are going to break down the introduction section from one more research article. So let's uh, read the introduction part and uh, try to understand what is the rational and how they have structured the rational uh, section in this introduction part. Is you all know that how important the rational part because uh, the rational provides the literature. That means it provides uh, the past studies related to the that particular topic and uh, it also provides the justification uh, that means the research gap is provided by the rational so the justification is very important why are we conducting this study is very important uh, the third one the rational provides the significance of the study that means what the information uh, what is the new information uh, that will be uh, pop up from these studies uh, that is also very important so these three uh, elements are so important uh, in developing very strong rational for your research work so coming to this paper so the title of this paper is the effect of water hardness on the toxicity of uh, graphene oxide to bacteria in synthetic surface waters here we could find uh, two uh, topic sentences uh, I can show you this two are the topic sentences that we can find here. The first one is uh, water hardness and uh, the second one is uh, toxicity of the, the graphene oxide. These two are very important uh, key terms uh, with respect to this particular study. Okay. So in the first uh, paragraph, the uh, first paragraph uh, we could expect uh, some information the basic information of the graphene oxide so that we can expect in the first paragraph the general information in the next paragraph we could expect uh, the toxicity of the graphene oxide that means uh, from the previous literature what are the studies uh, that have focused uh, on the toxicity of this graphene oxide could be seen in the second paragraph and in the third paragraph, we could expect uh, information regarding the water hardness. Probably the water hardness, uh, uh, this is a research gap. We, maybe the, uh, the previous studies, uh, they might have not looked into the water hardness, how the water hardness changes the toxicity of the graphene oxide. Probably the toxicity of the graphene oxide is a very well-known fact but no study attempted to understand how the water hardness changes the toxicity of the graphene oxide to bacteria so these three things we could find it so from this topic itself we could find it find out what is the research gap the research gap is that the studies numerous studies have uh, found the toxicity of graphene oxide to bacteria but uh, there is a there are few studies or there are there may be no studies that explained how the water hardness changes the toxicity of graphene oxide to the bacteria that is uh, the research gap and the significance of this study is uh, this study will provide information new information providing new information about how the toxicity of graphene oxide changes with respect to the water hardness in natural conditions see in natural environment we find different water bodies with different water hardness so this study will provide us information how the toxicity of graphene oxide will change with the change of the water hardness in the water bodies so that is the significance that means uh, we are we just uh, the, the studies uh, explains that you no know, this toxicity of graphene oxide is not the same uh, in all water conditions so that means it changes with the, the it changes with the uh, hardness of the water okay so let's see the first uh, paragraph of the introduction see if we could uh, See that graphene oxide see the basic information of the graphene oxide they provided the basic information in the first paragraph about the graphene oxide so this i could say it's a background information or the basic information which is 
uh, very required uh, uh, which is very required uh, that means we should write this in our re introduction part so that uh, the reader who is not connected to our study will have a preliminary and preliminary information about this graphene oxide so otherwise he has to again search it for what is graphene oxide and the basic information about it and it is very difficult for a reader to uh, go back and search again the information in some other place so, so that's why we have to provide the basic information which is required to understand the whole study see the next one is uh, uh, as i said no so we could see uh, the graphene oxide uh, toxicity studies from the literature we could see all these they reported the toxicity see for example antibacterial activity of graphene oxide we could see see antibacterial activity of graphene nanomaterials and uh, the mechanism also we could see here how the um, mechanism of the graphene oxide how it uh, how it uh, has effect uh, on uh, the bacteria see uh, creation of us or the mechanism and all so in the second paragraph so there we completely see uh, the graphene oxide toxicity and response of the organism and the mechanism of the graphene oxide so we see all these okay this is about this and uh, coming to the third and the second paragraph last itself there we can see uh, the hardness of different surface waters is different uh, which is an important factor that can control the aggregation of GO. so there are studies which reported that uh, the hardness uh, has effect on uh, aggregation of the GO. see uh, they have initiated the effect of GO aggregation on its cytotoxicity especially to date no available study has addressed uh, the effect of water hardness, water hardness. see there are studies which have focused on aggregation of G1 and toxicity, but no study has reported how the water hardness will uh, uh, contribute to the uh, GO aggregation and in turn uh, the cytotoxicity on the bacterial cells. So no study, no such study is there. So this is the, the research gap. So it uh, provides uh, the justification for conducting the research why uh, they have conducted this because there are no studies uh, which have addressed uh, uh, the, the problem. So next we could see the objective from the here we could see the objective okay. Uh, from this uh, introduction we could also the uh, the significance so the results are believed to improve the understanding of the ecological effect of G1 natural waters as I said uh, this provides uh, uh, the significance of this um, this work that means it uh, improves our understanding of the ecological effect of GO in natural waters how the GO uh, cause the cytotoxicity uh, in bacteria in, especially when the water hardness changes how uh, that cytotoxicity of this GO uh, changes. So that is uh, the main significance of this work. So these are the things that we have to uh, focus while we write uh, the introduction. See, uh, from the title, uh, we should uh, pick up the um, pick up the the paragraph to topic sentences. Uh, usually when we write a title so the title must reflect the uh, these things so that must have reflect the uh, that gap the research gap and the literature also that should be there in the title see for example in this one we see the cytotoxicity so it is a literature only and what hardness is a uh, here the research gap okay so we have to um, see that no the title uh, cover these two aspects okay significance is not required so significance of the studies need not to be uh, that need not that need not to be reflect on the title so this is the introduction part so the introduction must cover the three things uh, one is the literature review second the research gap third one is the significance of the study so apart from this we can also write the uh, methodology that we use also we you we can write uh, we can write the objective of the study and uh, sometimes we can also write the results also okay uh, but these are optional so and this change with uh, 
journal to journal that you have to keep in your mind so thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts with respect to writing or framing the research rational for your study please uh, come please uh, message in the comment box i will reply